will take five to care and take a walk for wishes. Joining us to make for Make a Wish is the board member Eric Kruger along with a Make a Wish family, Avery and her mom Jennifer. So welcome everyone. We've been chatting away this morning, having a great time. You know, Eric, let's chat about what Make a Wish is and why it's so important to help grant these wishes of children dealing with critical illness. Sure, Belinda. Um, make a Wish is the largest wish granting organization in the United States. And uh, our mission as an organization is to grant life changing wishes for uh, children that have been diagnosed with, uh, with a critical illness. Mm -hmm. um, and from an importance perspective, um, there's a there's a mountain of data that's out there regarding, you know, how wishes help a child push through the treatment process. It functions mm -hmm. as that light at the end of the tunnel. Um, and also from a, from a family perspective, it's just it adds strength and adds hope for, uh, for that family as they go through what's probably, you know, just a, a very difficult time. And I think Jen can probably speak to that much, you know, much better than I could. Well, everyone just talks about how promising these wishes are, of course giving that positive light to a child. You know, Avery, can you tell us what your wish was? Um, my wish was um, Disney World. J.J. Mall. Yeah, so Avery is 10 years old and she went to Disney World with her family, which is so amazing. Did you have a favorite part? Eating breakfast with the princesses in the castle. So this sister got to go to the castle and <laughs> eat breakfast with the princesses. That's so amazing, you know. Mm -hmm. And mom Jennifer, of course, is here with her and was with her every step of the way. You know, mm -hmm. so how did this impact your family? You know, uh, when you're dealing with a, a child that's going through some pretty pretty hard um, times, you know, the family gets impacted significantly mm -hmm. with this. Um, you know, the Make-A-Wish allowed us to focus on her specifically and to enjoy a time and a, and a memory and create a lot of memories as a family um, that otherwise we wouldn't have been able to do. Um, it really, to be honest, it's a stressful time when you're dealing with this type of a thing. And to have that opportunity to sit back, relax, and just watch that joy mm -hmm come across our face, I mean, that's something we'll never forget, ever. Well, I've been looking at some of the photos across the screen and just seeing Avery dressed up in that blue gown and meeting the princesses. I mean, you can really see how truly happy she was. Can you tell sure. us a little bit about her journey? Sure. Avery was um, diagnosed when she was um, very little. She was 11 months old and she was diagnosed with a brain tumor. Um, she went through a lot of treatment um, over the course of about four years and she relapsed twice. And so the Make-A-Wish trip um, was really kind of at the very end of that process and, and luckily, um, against all odds, um, she's still here with us today, even though we were well, we were told that that might not be the case. So we are extremely, extremely happy with where we're at. <laughs> well, she's amazing. She's just trying to give mom some love right now. And you know, we are going to talk about the Walk for Wishes, and that is actually coming up. You can all still get involved. Take five to care and Walk for Wishes is Saturday, April 27th at the Power and Light District. Registration is at eight in the morning. The walk starts at nine, and then it goes from 10 until noon for party festivities. Our own Joe Chiodo and Gina Bullard will be emceeing. For more information, go to kctv5.com slash take five to care.